that have already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. Six of Swords ends with the World card. Now the Six of Swords, it's showing... Or it can indicate some type of metaphorical movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better, whether it's internal or external. It can be about thinking where you want to be. There is a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past, so... It could be about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is going to be helpful. Now, this Six of Swords, it's with the World card. Now, just know that the World card is actually about completion. It's about closure. You've worked hard. You could be almost to the finish line in some way. So just don't quit now because you're so close. You could be definitely in need of some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. And I say this because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, there could be a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So it's important if this is the case to blow your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Okay, so Sagittarius, what I'm getting here Recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. Six of Swords, clarified by this world card, is well, it's letting me know that yeah, I don't know who initiated the closure or just realizing that it's time to end a journey with your person but I'm, I'm getting for a lot of you Sagittarius it was you who initiated this yeah because like I said the world card is about closure completion ending a journey closing the chapter on that 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 book ending the cycle that's what you wanted to do with the person that you're dealing with and you didn't want to fight you didn't want a big blow up. You didn't want it to be messy. Um, you wanted peace with this, with the, with this person, with the connection. You didn't want it to get out of control. That's what the Six of Swords is showing. Yeah, if you look at the Six of Swords, it's a card above the word past. These people just got out of raging waters. So. Maybe the connection had got, it had gotten messy. But you just realize this, it's just time to put it, put it to a close. Let's just end this chapter. Because it got, it had gotten messy. These people just got out of a storm. These two people in a boat. Now they're, they're moving into calmer waters. The water is still now. So, like I said, you didn't want it to be messy. So, you just wanted the two of you, two of you to be at peace and okay with this, this chapter closing. But that is the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Eight of Cups. Ends with the Seven of Swords. Now, the Eight of Cups... It often means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Could be a relationship, a job, 
a person, a neighborhood, there's some sadness involved. But the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times. They lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a job, relationship, or living arrangement, you want to trust yourself. Instead of, also, instead of this coming out of the blue, or someone or something leaving you, it can sometimes mean that you could be the one who's making this choice. Just know very often one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now it's with the six, no, it's with the seven of swords, the card below the word present. Now, with the Seven of Swords, it can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. So, if you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. And if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you might just want to rethink the impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. So, Sagittarius, what I'm picking up on here is uh, coming up, Eight of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm just getting this, this feeling just by looking at these two cards. That um, even, even though the two of you agreed to in this cycle or close out this chapter with each other on a peaceful note. Deep down inside your person, they're still holding on to this connection. Yeah. Because I, I, I see them walking away like the Eight of Cups does. They realize that it's gone sour. That's what you get with the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, it, you, you get walking away or moving on. But then, then you got the Seven of Swords here. They, they still watch you. They still keep tabs on you. They might even try to see what you're doing on your social media accounts if you have any. If you posted new pictures of you and someone else, maybe this person might drive past your house. Because the Seven of Swords, a card below the word present, like I said, it can be about stalking. But I don't get that this person does it in a bad way. Or any, it's nothing crazy. It's just that they, they're still holding on. Even though they've walked away. And you've walked away. But they're, they're still attached. They're still attached to you. And they think, so they, what they do is that they, they watch you a lot. Yeah, they want to, they still want to know what you're up to. They're still, this person is still attached to you. Yeah. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look. And see what the challenge is. Now we got this nine of wands. And it's with the two of swords. Now the nine of wands. When this comes up. The first and the best step is often to take a deep breath. Calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time. One hour at a time. If you can do so. Because at least some of the worries are going to turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself, what's the likelihood of the worry actually happening? Yeah, that's Nine of Wands, the card above the word challenge. Now, it's with this Two of Swords. The Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're likely to be going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic. Could be business or personal. However, you should consider 
the depths of your commitment to equality in the relationship and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your person. Yeah, and if you, if you are not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this definitely requires, requires some open communication because nothing will change without effort. So your challenge, Sagittarius, Nine of Wands clarified by this Two of Swords. Yeah, so like I said, Sagittarius, your person is still holding on to this connection. Even though, like I said, the two of you agreed to, to do it peacefully, to close out this chapter peacefully. They're holding on because it looks like they could be trying to reach out to you coming up. But it looks like it looks like you you're gonna decide to close yourself off to this person because this nine of wands a card above the word challenge um well, did you see how this person this lady is she's caged herself in with all these wands and she's not letting anyone get past her barricade no one no one gets past it you're not budging. That's what the Nine of Wands is. Yeah. This person will just stand there. No one comes past. They barricade. No one gets past their gate. So. They could be trying to. Reach out to you. Or come towards you. But you're not. You're not having it. Definitely not, and I say this definitely because I'm looking at the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords can be about, um, also be, it can be about avoiding and blocking. So, yeah, you might just, it looks like you're going to decide to block this person. They, they're going to be reaching out to you. Like I said, this person is still holding on. Oh yeah, even though they walked away um, in a peaceful way like you probably suggest or suggested because you didn't want a big fight or you wanted to stop fighting and you wanted the closure to be either amicable, be, amicable be, I can't say that word, amicable, mm hmm or you just, you just didn't want to fight. You didn't want to fight anymore. They're still holding on, though. They said, okay, I'll go, but they're not gone. They watch you a lot. They keep tabs on you. They drive past your house just to get a glimpse. Not in a dangerous way, though. It's not. So, like I said, with this challenge, these two cards here, Nine of Wands and Two of Swords, I'm showing for a lot of you, this person is, is going to be reaching out, calling you, texting you, messaging you. Some of them, some of, for some of you, they'll be knocking at your door. Or maybe some of you, they'll be blowing up your phone. Ring, 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 not blowing it up. Like, not like that, not crazy blow up. Just ring, ring, ring. Yeah, and so you're avoiding them and you're blocking them. And you're not letting them, you're not answering the door. No, nope, that's what I'm showing. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. Now, the Queen of Cups can indicate a woman. She could be very helpful to you. She'll remind us or you to bring love, compassion to your work and to your world. And that's possible even if you work in a factory all day with objects rather than people so when you get the queen of cups in a reading things are probably better in your world when you get this card than you're realizing so think positive so 
it's with this three of wands. The three of wands, you could find that your finances are going much better. In fact, this can be a month that you uh, feel like your ship has finally arrived. And you're, you could be feeling very strong with a good reason. You may finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands refers to work or romance in a very positive way. Or it can refer to life. Just um, It just refers to things in a positive way, in an extremely positive way. It could be work or personally. Yeah, it means that your efforts are seen appreciated and are well respected. So your outcomes, Sagittarius, Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Wands. Okay, so like I said, you're closing yourself off. They're knocking at the door. They haven't gotten over this. Even though the two of you agreed to walk away in peace. The outcome is showing that um, there's, there's love still there. I'm picking up that you still love this person and they obviously still love you. But you're, you're going forward. The three of wands, the card below the word outcome. It indicates that you've made a decision to go forward. You're looking ahead. You're not looking back. Like I said, the Three of Wands goes forward. Three of Wands, you've made a decision. Looking ahead with expansion and growth, you could feel like your ship has finally come in with a new situation, a new person, or just with, just with life overall. Maybe by yourself, but you're going forward. You're not looking back, even though you know that there's love there. Yeah, and you're keeping your person at a distance from you. You're blocking them. For some of you, you're moving out of out of town or out of the city or out of the state. You're getting on that ship and you're gone without your person. So that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. And I, if I said Scorpio, I'm sorry. I just finished a Scorpio reading. I get those two conf I get those two words mixed mixed because they're two s's. Forgive me if I if I ever said Scorpio during the reading, but this is a Sagittarius reading. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. Um, yeah. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind when you get these readings, the roles of the people, they can be, yes, they can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, co-worker, situation. Just take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they are not personal readings. So, Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing all of, the, all of you the best for 2021. Happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading and have a great day.